that's going to be supporting me. Um, so the first question would be, what does Our Lady mean to us? Um, I will start so I can give you some guidelines. Would you like that? Yeah. Our Lady means the world to me. That sounds really cliche, but I can't say it enough. Um, I grew up Catholic, uh, credo Catholic, and we grew up saying the rosary, but and we knew about Our Lady, but not until I um, got into college, I developed a relationship with her because for me, it became more of a mother and a daughter relationship. Someone I could talk to, someone that would clearly give me the guidance I needed, someone that would give me that encouragement whenever I needed it. And so to me, she's a mother, she's a comfort, she's a strength, she's a guide, and she's everything that makes up my Christian and Catholic faith. And of course, she always points you to the sun. I always find that guidance, and I know how to go to Jesus, and I know how to talk to Jesus. Samuel, yeah. what's that lady mean to you? Mm. In one word or two words, it's okay, you don't have to say that much. Uh, she's Jesus' mom. Mom, she's just mom, it's lovely. Well, we're gonna have to try and answer the second question. Why are we here today? What's the reason? Because it's the Fatima devotion. Yes, it is. It's, I mean, who wouldn't want to be here? Fatima devotion, it's our lady, our lady of the rosary. And she's called for us to pray. She's called for us to ask for world peace. And just by being here, we're going to be praying with so many other Catholics and we're going to be fulfilling that purpose. But most especially, we're going to hear from Our Lady. We're going to hear her speak to us. And we're going to have a touch from her. She's going to console us and have that mantle round about us. So we're going to be having a touch from Mom today, yeah? And finally, um, what do we hope to take from today? Um, we learn more about the Fatima devotion. Cool. I think Samuel has said it all. We'll learn more about the devotion. We'll have a closer relationship with the lady. And um, we'll have a blast. Yeah, and we have pictures. And we have pictures as well. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my name's Suzanne, and I just uh, wanted to speak about when we visited Fatima in Portugal. It was an unexpected trip. Uh, we were on holiday and we were we had the opportunity to visit and uh, didn't know a lot about shrine we'd heard of it but didn't know about the graces and and the importance but when we arrived uh, mass had already started and there were thousands of people and many people um, coming to the mass on their knees and it was very very impressive but there was the presence that was the thing the overwhelming feeling of a, a holiness there which we were amazed at because it wasn't really anything we knew a lot about and wasn't particularly our thing but uh, we were just overwhelmed and I was sobbing all the way through mass and it was a, just an amazing powerful experience and uh, so today has been just just a lovely day and, and a reminder of that my name is Rebecca, this is my husband Sean, my daughter Catherine and my son Anthony. And today was a very special day to us because Catherine was dressed as Santa Jacinta and Anthony was um, San Francisco. And uh, we pray the rosary every day and sometimes children, they don't want to pray. And uh, we always talk about Saint Jacinta and Francisco because they were little and Our Lady said to them to pray and we always use them as an example in our house. So today was a very special day and we are very blessed for being here. Thank you very much. Um, and I think also just on a sort of a personal level, um, I have a great devotion to Our Lady of Fatima and um, I always, um, every I was just speaking to the the colleague here who's doing this filming and I was telling him that every Mass, I try to go to Mass daily and every Mass at, in the offertory I, I always offer up um, as one of my intentions in preparation for all the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sacred Heart of Jesus and then I also say in preparation for the sins against the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Sacred Heart of Jesus for people 
I personally think of because we can do this for other people who, who need to be saved especially those who are most obstinate and most sinful um, I pray the, the rosary um, very much and my rosary is all messed up now but wear them as well <laughs> uh, with the sacramentals um, it's important to pray the rosary Amen Hello my name is Faith the main reason why I came here today was to find out some more about Our Lady Fatima the main reason why I came here today is just to enjoy myself and do the rosary um, I wanted to pray the rosary because I need help um, from Our Lady I wanted to pray the rosary um, so that I can get some help with my education as well well, this is actually my first time, and I think I've got a really good impression so far of this day. It was an amazing um, travelling time to get her here, but we did. Lots of opposition. She came, and we need her. And, you know, she, is the, um, she has given us our message for today. All these warnings, all her suggestions, her uh, counsel, but we haven't heeded it very much. But it is beginning to sink in gradually. Thank God we've got the first Saturdays. And we also have started the Divine Mercy Prayer Group. So those two initiatives, I think, are especially uh, supportive by the times that we're in.